Well, late last month, my colleague Nick Atreti and I participated in a special program with the United States Navy Fleet Forces Command. Called Sailor for a Day, we spent the better part of the week at Naval Station Norfolk, learning all about the different types of roles in the Navy and those who stand ready to answer the call when America needs them. We talked with sailors from all parts of the country who all have their own reasons to serve. In this multi-day special report, our first story comes from sailors serving on board a missile cruiser. Right now, we're on board USS Gettysburg. She is a Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser. We'll talk with three sailors whose job keeps them on board this ship and how there is work underway for an upcoming deployment. Commissioned in 1991, the USS Gettysburg pays tribute to the famous 1863 battle in Pennsylvania that helped turn the tides of the Civil War. Currently stationed at Naval Station Norfolk, the ship's crew is working day in and day out, completing a multi-year overhaul of the ship and getting ready for their next mission. It's a little bit older when you look at our newer like destroyers. Um, we've got a lot of work going on, a lot of improvements. It's the first ship to complete SLEP, Ship's Life Extension Program. Uh, so she was in an eight-year overhaul pretty much of improvements, system upgrades, um, and it's pretty much the most advanced cruiser in the fleet nowadays. Um, we're, as a cruiser, we're the whiskey ship, so we do mostly air defense. Um, that's our job when we go out on deployment with the carrier is like we play whiskey um, and manage the air battle space. Ensign Potesta has been in the Navy a little over a year. She's one of 330 sailors on the ship, each with a critical job. I'm the strike officer on board, so I do all things missiles. Um, the mostly tomahawk. I own the launchers they go in, so that's these right here. Um, each square is a cell that a missile would go into. I say specifically tomahawk because those are the ones that my guys will launch. While some sailors are new to the service, others have made it a career each with their own reasons for joining, like Gunner's Mate Chief Christopher Rummel. I had graduated college in Mansfield, Pennsylvania, uh, and tried for two years to get a job into law enforcement, uh, which didn't work out, so I ended up looking at the service. It had been something that I would thought about since high school, uh, and then during college when 9-11 happened, that was also a, another inspiring moment, so it just seemed like the right time after that. The crew on board the Gettysburg are hard at work, getting the ship's sea ready and training for the necessary certifications before an upcoming deployment, preparing for months out to sea, away from family and the comforts of home. For some sailors, it will be their first time, but they have experienced leadership who've been through it before to help guide them. When we go into away for longer periods of time, you're able to settle into a routine and just uh, find the joy in, in the little things in the day to day. Uh, whether it's a meal or a, or a quick laugh or a game or whatever you can get in. They're long days, uh, they stack up pretty quick, but it's, uh, it's what we signed up to do at the end of the day. And so, the, you know, the, the, the days go slow, but the months go quick when you're out there. And we want to thank the sailors we talked to on the USS Gettysburg. And the ship is one of 13 active cruisers of its kind in the U.S. Navy. And the Gettysburg isn't the only ship we'll be sharing with you during our time with the Navy. Tomorrow, we're learning about naval submarines. And later this week, we'll take you out to sea on board the USS George Washington.